All right, guys, Rob here with ScrappyDo.com, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how to use the Snap Map feature inside the iOS app of uh, Cricut Design Space. All right, and what we're using here is some popsicle sticks. So, we're going to go over uh, what we're going to be using this for uh, with this project and the Snap Mat. All right, so let's go ahead and get started all right so the original idea of the popsicle stick came from this man right here christopher allen and he basically said you can write with the cricket on these popsicle sticks and make it like a date night kind of thing so put these popsicle sticks in a jar pull one out and that's what you do for date night now i'm going to make this more family friendly so uh, we all know we don't have that many dates anymore but we do have family fun and in this example we're going to use uh, games that we can play as a family, whether that be individual or stuff that we can play as a group. Okay, so that's what we're going to design. But uh, what's different about this video is we're actually going to use Snap Mat, and that wasn't a feature back when he did the video, but uh, it is now, and now we get to see what Snap Mat is all about. Now when you place these popsicle sticks on the mat, you want to make sure that uh, they're not going to be rolled over by the roller. So that's why I put them in the center, but really they can place be placed anywhere on the mat. Um, I'd recommend the stickiest kind of mat you have and then of course applying some masking tape to it that we're going to do here a little uh, later. Now these are just dipped in paint. Uh, you can make the, the color choices that you want. Uh, you can make it boy girl game if you want or you know maybe one color means it's a it's a two player game one color means it's a, it's a four player game that kind of stuff with the popsicle sticks. Alright so in the app itself, we've already pre-wrote some of these, and we made sure that we chose a writing style. And then when we click Send to Matt, uh, we can go ahead and check out the button that's down there in, in the lower left, which is called Snap Matt. And what's that going to do for us once we click on it? Well, it's going to bring up a brand new, I guess, window and we're going to be able to take a photo of our mat that has the popsicles on it so that way we're able to line things up based upon that photo which is really cool all right so that's what we're going to show you here next all right so what i recommend for this next part is uh, i actually had to place this on the floor because uh, it allows me to stand up and get a good photo now you're going to notice those two balls on there they're that's just your leveling type of uh, device so you want to get those in the center and once they're in the center and you're lining that up, you can see the little hole in the tab. Uh, it's going to take a picture of it automatically for you. And, and as you can see, it is a little bit uh, somewhat of a difficulty of trying to get the snap. But once you do, you can see the photo. And now we're going to go ahead and click the Use button. And when we do, now we're presented with basically that same font that we have and we're able to move those onto the popsicle sticks okay all right for this we're just tapping on the text and we're moving into the location where it needs to be written on the popsicle sticks itself so you're just going to do that for all four of these and then we're going to be ready for that next step so hopefully you can see how this snap mat can be effective and uh, you not having to measure where things need to go when it's time for writing or even cutting. So like I told you before, uh, you may want to use like masking tape or painter's tape in order to hold it on just in case your mat's not sticky. This one's the lightest stick, so I, I did want to make sure that it was on there. And I just re-snapped a photo just to make sure everything was good to go on that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on the OK, and we're, we're going to be cutting through the Bluetooth with this. OK, so I found the Cricut Air. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now... It is time for this thing to do a little writing once this C starts flashing.
right, guys, so hopefully you saw how easy that was with Snap Mat in order to get something where you want. And even if you use this project, it's kind of cool for the kids. You know, put this in a jar, and you can even color code it for team players, like I said, or or maybe, uh, you know, where it's one-on-one -on -one kind of things. Just have, just have your kids pick it out of a jar, and that way the game that they pick is random, something that you guys all would enjoy. But uh, that does it for us here at Scrappy-Doo. Um, Make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Bye.